segregate you and have you believe that you're out there by yourselves. And today, we brought the fight to Walmart's front door to let them know that nobody is by themselves. Every member of our Walmart is backed by thousands of people. Our Walmart is here for the associates, by the associates, to make their living conditions better inside of all of their stores across the country. We were here to present um, a letter, a signed letter to Mike Duke. We were here to present the uh, results of our surveys for understaffing and another copy of our declaration. I don't understand it. Why not? He should have been able to come out and, you know, meet us face to face. We're going to change Walmart. Like it or not, Mike Duke has to eventually talk to us. And because of this organization, we're going to join together and become more of us. And the next time we come here, Mike Duke must see us. Associates are, are affected by the understaffing because they're not making the money that they need to provide an income for families. It's affecting our community because we don't have the money to spend in the community. We don't dislike Walmart. We love Walmart so much until we're trying to save Walmart from itself. We have called on Walmart to change its ways Woo. and to start respecting its employees. The National Organization for Women stands with the associates of Walmart today. We will stand with the associates of Walmart tomorrow and next week and next month and next That's year right. until we see a change. We want them to know that we're here, we're, we're standing strong, we're not going to stop doing what we're doing until we get the respect from every single management. Walmart as the largest uh, private sector employer in the country, the standard bearer and the largest, uh, fastest growing industry in the country, uh, has the ability to actually change this economy for the better. And, and we're here because we believe Walmart can do better. We are a voice, we have something to say. Um, we've been disrespected long enough. We can't do it alone, one person can't do it, but we are many now and they have to listen to us. And all we're asking for is respect. I think this was a big success. We had a lot of community support, people coming by in their cars, beeping their horns for us. They were taking our declaration and we're making an impact. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.